Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this amigurumi monkey. For this project I have used a fine yarn and 2.5mm crochet hook. Check the description box for more details. If you prefer the written pattern, visit my Etsy store link in the description box. In the written pattern I used a single crochet and in this video tutorial I'm going to make a single crochet stitch. This tutorial is not for the beginners. If you are a beginner, this tutorial might be too quick for you. Because it's gonna be a long video, I have decided to divide it into two parts. You can find the link to second part, which I will upload tomorrow in the description box. Okay, so we should start with the magic circle. And if you are not familiar with magic circle, you can chain four. So make a knot and chain four. Slip stitch to the first chain. And chain one. And you will work inside this, this circle. But I'm gonna start with, with magic circle because it looks better in my opinion and it is more professional. Okay, so magic circle, chain one, and make six single crochet inside the circle. And in first round we will make regular single crochet. So six single crochet inside the circle. Three. Four, five, and six. Now close the circle. Okay, from next round I will start X single crochet instead of normal single crochet. Round two, replace marker, make two X single crochet into each stitch. You can, of course, make just normal single crochet in, instead of X single crochet. So what's the difference between X single crochet and normal single crochet? Instead of yarn over like you normally would do, yarn under, pull up the loop and continue as normal, yarn over and pull up the loop. So make two X single crochet into each stitch. I have made a video how to make X stitch so you can click here for tutorial. So once again, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn under, pull up the loop, yarn over, and pull up the loop. So as you can see, it is very simple stitch. So make two X single crochet into each stitch. You should have 12 stitches all together in this round. Insert your hook, yarn under, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull up the loop. Yarn under, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull up the loop. In round three, replace the marker, stitch, make one X single crochet in next one in next stitch, and make two X single crochet into the next stitch. Make one single crochet in the next stitch, make two single crochet in the next stitch. I mean X single crochet. Repeat all around. You should have 18 stitches all together in round number three. And round number four, make one X single crochet in next two stitches. So this is your first X single crochet. This is your second X single crochet. And now make two X single crochet into the same stitch. One, two into the same stitch. So continue working this manure working this manual all around. You should have 24 stitches all together in round number three. Round number five, make one X single crochet in next three stitches, make two sing X single crochet in the next stitch. So one X single crochet in the first three stitches, 
to a single crochet in the next stitch continue all around you should have 30 stitches all together in round number five Round number six make one x single crochet in the next four stitches make two x single crochet into next stitch so one x single crochet into the next four stitches and two x single crochet into the next stitch as you can see i am doing it now three four and two x single crochet into the next stitch continue working in this manner all around you should have 36 stitches all together in round number six. Round number seven, replace the marker and make one single crochet, x one x single crochet into each stitch. So do not increase anymore, just one single x single crochet into each stitch. Now it is good time to turn inside out like this, because this is the right side. Okay, replace marker. Now we start decreasing. Make one single crochet into the first four stitches. One. So one X single crochet into the first four stitches. Two. Three. Four. And make one decrease. How I am making decrease? I am inserting my hook into the just front loop of the next stitch and directly so just under front loop of the next stitch and directly i'm going under the next stitch both loops so i have now three loops on my hook and yarn over pull up the loop and yarn over pull through all three loops this is how i'm making my decrease you can make how you like and work in this manner so one x single crochet in next four stitches one decrease one single crochet in next four stitches one decrease you should have 30 stitches all together in round number eight i'm gonna show you my decrease one more time so insert your hook under just front loop of the next stitch and under both loop of the next stitch yarn over pull and loop yarn over pull through all three loops okay Round number nine, make one X single crochet in next three stitches. One, two, three, and make one decrease and continue all around. You should have 24 stitches all together in round number nine. Round number 10, make one, one X single crochet in next two stitches and make one decrease continue all around you should have 18 stitches in round number 10 so one x single crochet in next two stitches one decrease round number 11 make one x single crochet in first three stitches so this is your first x single crochet this is your second x single crochet and this is your third single crochet x single crochet and now make one decrease make one x single crochet in next 10 stitches one x single crochet in next 10 stitches Okay, and now make one decrease, one decrease. In the last stitch, we are going to make a color. So make one X single crochet into the last stitch, yarn over, pull, yarn under, pull up the loop, and now drop the base yarn. We are going to change color now. Pull brown color through. And this is your last stitch of this round. Now round number 12, make one single crochet, X single crochet into each stitch with new color, new blue yarn. You can work around these two tails for a few stitches to hide them and to secure them. 
So uh, we will yarn over them also. We'll hide them. So yarn under, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull up the loop. So make 16x single crochet in round number 12. And now it is a very good time for stuff your legs. Okay, and now in next 29 stitches, make just one X single crochet into each stitch. So you should have 16 stitches into each round, into each next 29 rounds. So one X single crochet into each stitch for next 29 rounds. I'm gonna see you when I finish round number 41 oh and what is extremely important stuff your leg as you go so do not stuff at the end but stuff as you go for example make 10 rounds and stuff 10 rounds and stuff okay i see you when i finish my 29 rounds okay so this is my first leg finished i cut the yarn and now I'm going to make exactly the same second leg. So make one more time this leg. I'm going to see you when you finish this leg. But do not cut the yarn after you finish second leg. So make second leg and do not cut the yarn. Okay, so that's my two legs finished. Now what's important? That we want to keep the color changing at the back of our monkey. So you might add a few extra stitches to your legs to keep the color changing at the back. We'll chain two. So chain two. And join with a single crochet into next leg, into second leg here. So insert your hook into the stitch under the stitch of the next leg and yarn under and pull up the loop, yarn over, pull up the loop. And you can place the marker here as your first stitch of next round and make an inner, it is your round number 42 and make one X single crochet into each stitch and each chain. You should have 36 stitches all together in round 42. So go all around and make one X single crochet into each stitch and inch each chain. I will see you at the end of this round. Round 43, make one X single crochet in next five stitches, make two X single crochet into the next stitch. You should have 42 stitches all together in round number 43. So one X single crochet in next five stitches and two X single crochet into the next stitch. And round 44, my replace marker, make one X single crochet in next six stitches and make two X single crochet into the next stitch. You should have 48 stitches all together in round number 42. So one X single crochet in next six stitches, two X single crochet into the next stitch.
replace marker and make one x single crochet into each stitch for next four rows so row round round sorry round number 45 46 47 48 make just one x single crochet into each stitch you should have 48 stitches all together in this rounds round number 49 we will start decreasing again make one x single crochet in next six stitches And make decrease into the next stitch so one x single crochet into next six stitches one decrease you should have 42 stitches altogether in this round and you can add extra stuff remember to stuff as you go and in next four rounds make just one x single crochet into each stitch so you should have 42 stitches in round number 50 51 52 and 53 one x single crochet into each stitch and round 54 make one x single crochet in next five stitches and one decrease into the next stitch so you should have 36 stitches all together in round in this round so one x single crochet into the next five stitches and one decrease into the next stitch And for next six rounds make just one x single crochet into each stitch you should have 36 stitches in each round so in round 55 56 57 58 59 60 you should have 36 stitches and round number 61 make one x single crochet in next four stitches and make one decrease into the next stitch you should have 30 stitches altogether in this round so one more time one x single crochet in next four stitches one decrease and for next five rounds make just one x single crochet into each stitch so round number 62 63 64 65 66 you should have 30 stitches in each of these rounds one x single crochet into each stitch Round number 67, make one x single crochet into the next three stitches and then make one decrease. You should have 24 stitches all together in this round. So one x single crochet into the next three stitches, one decrease. Round number 68, make one single crochet in next two stitches and make one decrease in the next stitch. You should have 18 stitches all together in this round. So one x single crochet into the next two stitches, one decrease. Stuff with fiber fill. And that's actually our body is finished. Next step will be the head. We will start the head in the next video, in the second part of the video, which I will upload tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.